Well, I, I, I don't support vouchers. Um, <clears throat> But now here comes the button, okay? First of all, I represent District 11, and District 11 is the school district right here. Caney Valley, the superintendent is here, Mr. Peters is in the room somewhere. It's just cut out of my district down on, down on Highway 75. Um, <clears throat> I just know the quality program we put together. And I say we put together what we do in Barsville. And I, my children, I'm a product of the Barsville Public Schools. My children are a product of the Barsville Public Schools. And I had the honor of teaching and being with hundreds of students, and quite frankly, some of them are in this room today, the parents. I think we have a quality education program in Bartersville, and I really just do not want to uh, take money from the Bartersville Public Schools. Uh, so I don't support the voucher program. I fully understand the reason why people do, and here comes the but. We've got to come up with a plan in regards to people that are going to, that are living in a particular area where the schools are not being as successful as some of those schools. And I'm just picking on, I'm not picking on, I mentioned Barsville, I think. I, I also represent Collinsville, uh, Oklahoma, and I can assure you Collinsville, Oklahoma has a phenomenal school district. But we have school districts that are not being successful. I still don't like the voucher program, but we need to come up with a program. <clears throat> and it may very well be, after X years or four years, if you're still on the failing list, if a parent wants to, transfer their student out of that school into a more successful school, then we need to have that discussion. Uh, Senator Ford and I introduced a bill several years ago that if you were on a failing list, at, the state came in, there was about a, six, about a four step process, and eventually if the school didn't turn around, the state came in and took over the school and then had to uh, move the students and the teachers to another school, not a school district, but to another school building. It's very complex, but you need to understand there are people that their children are attending schools that are not as successful. But it's personally just up front the voucher program. I personally do not support the voucher program. And I also will make the point, in this times of having a $1.3 billion hole last year and one point one close to $1.2 billion hole this year, I absolutely do not believe this is the time to even have a conversation about vouchers.